Hi, my name is Mike. Thanks for joining me today on my channel, Technically Church, where I share over 20 years of experience in audio, video, lighting, and multimedia. You can always find out more on my website at technicallychurch.com. Let's jump in. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you some quick examples on how to use and program your Dante controller. So in my example, I have a Behringer Wing with a Dante card in it. So I have a Dante network, which enables me to have 64 channels of audio in and out of my Behringer Wing. So I have the Behringer Wing connected to a network switch, connected to a Mac computer. And in my case, I use that primarily to multi-track record. I also use multitracks.com playback app. Uh, all that over Dante. So I'm transporting my tracks, my click and guide over the Dante network into my console. So to do all this, you need a couple things. Obviously the wing, you need a Dante card in the wing, and then you need a couple things to make the computer portion work. You need the Dante virtual sound card, which turns your computer into a Dante um, device. And I do have another video explaining that. And then you need the Dante controller piece of software, which helps you route things on the Dante network. So let's dive into the Dante controller and I'll show you how this works once you have it all set up. So on the computer, I do have it all on and plugged in. So if that's the case and you have your Dante virtual sound card running, uh, it should look similar to this. You're gonna have one or more transmitters and you're gonna have one or more receivers. So I have a couple devices on my network. We're gonna look um, just here at Michael's MacBook Pro as the transmitter. So this is transmitting from playback app it's going to transmit all of my tracks to the wing. So the transmitter is my MacBook Pro using playback. And the receiver in this case would be the wing. So it's labeled Holly Wing here. So on the transmitter side, I'm going to open up my MacBook Pro. You see I have 64 channels available. And then on the receiver side, I'm going to open the wing. So Audio will only go on the Dante network where you tell it to go. So by default, nothing will be patched. So all this stuff down here is blank and is not patched. You can see I do have patched channels one through 15 with the green check marks. So I'm going to uncheck these so you can see how this works. Okay, so you would simply say, I mean, you could do advanced routing, but typically you would just do a one-to-one. -one. So you're gonna say the MacBook Pro channel one is gonna to transmit to the wing channel one. So you click in that box and you'll see it's synchronized and then now it's connected. So you just go through and do a one-to-one -one patch on each of these channels. So in my case, the playback app is using channels one through 15 on the Dante network and it's patched from my computer into the wing. Now I do have, uh, same thing here, the playback app channel 16 I have another Dante adapter plugged into my light board, which I use the Grand MA2. So I have that on the Dante network, so it's its own device here. So I'm gonna send that from my MacBook Pro coming out of playback channel 16. This is my SMPTE time code for controlling my lights. So I have that patched, as you can see, to channel one on this Dante uh, Avio, and that is plugged into my lighting console. So you can see I can have different patches on different devices and you just have to enable it and you can route it wherever you want to go. Thanks for joining me today. Again, my name is Mike. You can always find out more on my website, technicallychurch.com, or on my YouTube channel, Technically Church. Look forward to seeing you soon.